My fellow Australians, it's been a year of calamity, natural disasters, revolutions, economic turmoil, and to top it off, un-Australianism has gone viral. It's been spreading faster than pecks of Pippa Middleton's rump on Facebook, and things have really hit rock bottom in popular culture. For example, the gossip mags have really gone googly-eyed over Shane Warne, who went from bowling overs to make overs to get his leg over, bleaching his pearlies for Hurley. The old Warnie would never have chosen a starlet over a cutlet, or tweeting over eating. And is it any wonder Charlie Sheen's lost his sparkle when he's always off his chops? A lack of lamb has led to a litany of lamentable behaviour. We go gaga over a lady that wears a dress made out of lamb instead of eating it. We gawk at Kim Kardashian's exposed nuptials. We salivate over the TV trial of Michael Jackson's doctor. If only Jack O had popped chops instead of pills, he might still be with us. And a lot less pale and anemic. And don't get me started on reality television. What kind of society are we living in? when you can win one of those dancing talent shows without doing the lambada. Popular culture is so un-Australian. I've decided to create popular culture instead. So, I'm changing my tune. I'm releasing my own chop song. If the Dalai Lama can spread corners instead of camera and mastership, why can't I reincarnate myself as a chop star? So don't be an Australian. Get Barbie Girl to the top of the pops and make land your number one on Australia Day. You know it makes sense. I'm Sam Kekovich.